Good to see you, Harry. Nice to see you today. Thank you. And welcome home. Nice to be back. Well, good, I mean, it was a great time out there. Really good was. trip. As good you can trip. see, they're on top of the world. He's, he's, the lad said that well they, they were really Super. on top you of the world. Them. You enjoyed it, did you? I certainly did. A bit cold. I as bet. you can see from my garments, I was suffering from anorexia nervosa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you that. do realise that some of the boys' people are in tonight. You're in the I know. Audience. We can have a look really... at them, actually. We'll give them some applause, will yes, we? Yes, well done. Wonderful. 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 I would like to say something to them. Keep writing to them. Because the one thing they look forward to most of all is letters from home. So keep writing. It is very important. Believe me. Yeah. And there's one thing you can clean up for me. What's that? It was an Irish lad said something. <laughs> he made a request and I couldn't understand a word he said. <laughs> well, the, the fellow with the wellies? That was, yes, yes, that was yes. Well. I, I, I could see that Harry didn't understand him. When the fellow really. said, he said, oh, and then he means, oh, Val and all that, he said. <laughs> So I'm the interpreter, am I? I'm yes, the interpreter. Please. What he said was, he yeah. said, when you said, what would you like? He says, a mother's loves a blessing. <laughs> that, in English, that means a mother's love is a blessing. Ah! A mother's love is a blessing. Simple as it's that. It's all clear. How does it you go? Should, you should learn it, because you never know. You might go, but they might ask you to sing it again back there. Oh, Can no. I have just a little bit of it? And we sing I'll sing it. <coughs> Great song, this. Of course. A mother's love's a blessing. No matter where you roam, just keep her while she's living, cause you'll miss her when she's gone. He's crying, look, oh. I can see the tear <laughs> coming it's out. It's a nice song, that, it's isn't it? it? You'll have to learn I've that. I've never heard that before. Oh. Will we tackle all the others? What a Between. grand thought. Can we have a couple of microphones? What a grand thought. Oh, okay. Thank you. The old hometown looks the same As I step down from the train And there to meet me is my mama and my papa Down the road I look and there runs Mary Hair of gold and lips like cherries It's good to touch the green, green grass of a home. Yes, they'll all come to meet me, arms reaching, smiling sweetly. It's good to touch the green, green grass of a home. I know this one. Walk tall. All through the years that I grew up, I told these things to me. But I was young and foolish then, much too blind to see. I ignored the things she said as if I'd never heard. Now I see and understand the wisdom of her words. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. That's what my mama told me when I was about knee high. She said, son, be a proud man and hold your head up high. Walk tall, walk, tall. walk straight and look the world right in the eye. Walk tall, walk straight and look the world right in the eye. Your son. If I rule the world, every day would be the first day of spring. Every heart would have a new song to sing And we'd sing of the joy every morning would bring My world would be a beautiful place Where we would weave such wonderful dreams My world would wear a smile on its face Like the man in the moon has when the moon if I rule the world, every man would say the world was his friend. There'd be happiness that no man could end. No, oh, my friend, not if I rule the world. Every head would be held up high. There'd be sunshine in everyone's sky. If the day ever dawn when I rule the world. Now, 
Patrick McGinty, an Irishman of nose, fell in for a fortune and he bought himself a goat. Says he, sure, a goat's milk, I'm going to have me fill. But when he brought the nanny home, he found it was a bill. All the young ladies that live in Killaloo, they're all wearing bustles like the mothers used to do. They each wear a bolster beneath their petticoat. Just a little bit to go. And leave the rest to Providence and Paddy McGinty go. How about that? We'll do the last one together. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves.